beautiful day about 7 a.m. We're about a week out from my pro tryouts and I got some news that I want to share with you. You may not like it. Now, you got this workout and I'm gonna do this thing that every other YouTuber does to you. I'm gonna show you the workout for about like 30 seconds. Then we're gonna talk about, well, me being done YouTube in a second. Show you something though. See how straight you are? Yeah. Oh. I'm quitting YouTube indefinitely for at least the immediate future, and I want to talk a little bit about that. I love playing hockey, but I also love making videos. It's been an absolute blessing to be able to make YouTube videos about the game I love, about the sport I love, the position I love, and get paid to do it. Thank you very much. Have a great day. I play college hockey, I make YouTube videos. Making videos is not the hardest thing in the world. It gets a little challenging at times, especially when I've been doing daily videos for about two and a half months. But the hockey aspect is kind of challenging because there's a lot of time that needs to be invested, workouts, skating, all that kind of stuff, especially at my point in my career where it needs 100% of my attention in the gym, on the ice, if I'm gonna make it to the level that I want with the tryouts I have coming up for both college and pro. But when you mix the two of them together and you combine making YouTube videos on a full-time basis, with the full-time training in the gym on the ice, I can't put 100% of my focus on one thing at a time because making these videos on YouTube allow me to generate more ice times, generate more opportunities. And if I'm gonna be honest, I've probably been playing hockey for the last two years, one of college hockey, one of junior hockey, and hopefully this upcoming year, I'm borrowed time. Another reason why I want to take a bit of a break from YouTube is I'm getting a little bit burnt out creatively. I feel that after doing so many videos, I mean, there's only so many things you can do than goaltending being a niche of hockey. So I think this break will be good to kind of refresh my mind a little bit and come up with some really cool and unique ideas. You don't want to watch crap. I don't want to make crap. So I think this is good for everybody. There's a lot of younger people doing YouTube videos, especially in the hockey community. Not a lot, if any people, aside from Pat Shea, that are doing YouTube videos and on a regular basis while playing at a high competitive level. There's a lot of minor details that need adjusting. There's a lot of things that need attention. And this isn't as simple as just hopping on the ice, getting in the gym once or twice a week, everything falls into place. There's a lot of small details that do need to be refined if I want to accomplish these goals because these details need my attention. I'm at a point in my career where I will literally do anything I possibly can to help myself, to help my game, to stick in the game, to compete at a competitive level. To be honest, not playing at all, I'm barely getting the practice this season at the college level, really motivated me and has really inspired me to try to do the best that I can to keep myself in the game and play somewhere where I can actually play some games. My relationship with YouTube is very give and take. I feel I can't play hockey without YouTube because financially YouTube gives me the funds to play hockey, to play competitively, to seek out other opportunities. And I also can't do YouTube if I'm not playing competitive hockey. If I don't play competitive hockey, I'm now some dude in the couch and I don't feel I bring a lot of value to the table. With that being said, I need to put 100% of my energy and my efforts towards playing hockey because if I don't and I put a lot of time into YouTube, I feel my game is going to suffer and I'm not going to have a home, I'm not going to have anywhere to play this upcoming season. So the responsible thing to do is to prioritize my game and take a little bit of a break. If you've been watching the videos for a while, thank you for your continued support, your long-term support, have made videos like even this possible. If you're new to the channel, well, hey, I don't discriminate. Whether you've been watching for three years or three hours, thank you very much for your continued support. Although this will be my last video till September, videos will be back in September, and my plan is to be doing five daily videos, maybe even seven, because everything that I'm filming over the summer I don't want to touch it for a while, but it will be uploaded in September as a part of daily videos. So I can just have the videos ready to go, uploaded, and worry about my tryouts come September time. And you have some stuff to watch because hockey season is right around the corner. So I called in the radio station to get this song played. Puddle Mud is my new favorite band, and I really hope they come to Canada sometime soon. Also, it could be my next mask idea. I feel like for a tutorial video, a smart look may work to my advantage and you respect me when I have to say. I could sit here telling you how great the stick is or how bad it is. I want to put it into perspective for you. Now this is where you're going to pants. A couple key pieces of ingredients that are going to make this video a little bit more interesting. I was wrong. 
pride myself and my students' numbers and making my my students better. And I think that's one thing that you should really, really target looking for a goalie coach. You probably expect me to tell you, so this is the best stuff I've ever worn. And I actually mean it. I'm now going to tell you why. More on that in a second. Due to the rotation of it being open channel. It's a nice day, so let's go talk. Warriors brand new composite. It's uh, almost as light as the 2S Pro apparently. Now, sidelineswap.com may be pretty new, actually only a couple years old, 2012, 2013 was when it was created, but uh, this guy, if you actually were able to see it up close, that paper he's got in his hand, that is the first ever signed deal, sidelineswap.com. Anyway, go to sidelineswap.com, none of these rants make any sense anyway, so why would I continue doing them? Go to the website, buy something, and I'll see you in the next video.